So this is question 12. It's saying a school has a track that is made up of rectangles of a rectangle with two semicircles at each end. As pictured, the perimeter of the track is 395, right? So this is my poorly constructed track here. I know that actually this distance here is 36 meters. And I know that perimeter, sorry, per, the perimeter equals 395 meters so the rectangular part of the track will be covered with grass the grass comes in pieces that will have that each will have an area of 1.35 meters squared so determine the number of pieces of grass recovered to cover only the rectangular part so we, we basically first how do we how do we, how do we approach this problem we're given perimeter of the entire thing so we basically have to solve for perimeter of just for the rectangular first and then figure out the area of the rectangle and then we can see how many pieces, right? So this is kind of a multi-step problem here. So how do we figure out the perimeter of just the rectangular part? Because we're given the, this is the perimeter total. So PT of the entire track because the track is comprised with a rectangle and two semicircles. So we can actually write this as perimeter total actually equals perimeter of our rectangle, P of R, or actually I'll just write down rectangle plus our perimeter of a circle, right? And we know that because we have two semicircles that are equal to each other. The, the, my drawing's not equal, but you can kind of get the point here. Um, so basically, we have to solve, and we know that this equals 395, right? Equals basically a combination of these two. So how do we calculate that? We can first calculate, we if we want to get perimeter of rectangle, we want to first have to calculate perimeter of circle. And we can, we can do that, right? We know how to do that. We can do our perimeter of circle basically equals our circumference of a circle, right? So C equals pi d so c equals pi times our diameter which is actually in this case they give us the radius right so this is the radius between two points here it's 36 meters uh our radius is simply just um sorry our diameter is simply two times the radius right so in this case it's two times 36 which equals 72 so diameter here is 72 meters which means our circumference of a circle or perimeter of a circle if you will, is 3.14 times 72, which will give us 226.08 meters, which means we have we have figured out our perimeter of circle, which is 226.08 meters. So now we can isolate for perimeter of rectangle in this case. So we can say it's 395, subtract 226.08, Remember, we're subtracting 226.08 from both sides, and we are left with 168.92 meters. So given our perim perimeter of rectangle, we can actually start solving for these dimensions, right? So remember, we don't know what this length is. We don't know what this length is, but we do know the width, right? This width here is simply just 36, right? Because if I have a full circle, and the diameter of the circle is from one, is from, is uh is from this point to this point and this point to basically the two times two times our radius right so this width is going to actually just equal our uh our radius or oh, sorry the diameter the diameter of our circle right so in this case it's 200 it's 72 meters so i'm going to use a different color for this so a perimeter of a rectangle is going to equal two times l plus 70 right and we know that's 168.92 equals two times, we don't know our length, but we do know our width. Our width here is 72, right? So then we can we, we can isolate and say this is 2L plus, we can expand this, so two times L, the two times 72. Two times 72 is 144 times 68.92. We can subtract 144 from both sides. We get 168.92 minus 144 which equals 24 sorry 24.92 equals 2l so l has to equal divided by 2 12.46 meters so now we have our length right which means we can solve for our area which i'll do in blue our area of our rectangle equals length times width 
length is 12.46 meters times our width, which was 72 meters. So that's going to equal 72 times 12.46. Sequence, it's going to equal 800, sorry, 897.12 meters squared. And now we have to figure out the minimum number of pieces of grass to cover the rectangular part. So remember, this is the rectangular part, right? This is the area of the rectangle. So this is our area here. We're going to have to divide this number by 1.35 meters squared because that's the area f per each piece. And that's going to give us our answer, 1.35, which means we need a total of 664.53 pieces. Or in this case, we have to round up because there's no such thing as a 4.53 piece, right? So we're going to have to say, therefore, it's 665 minimum pieces. Minimum pieces. Pieces to cover rectangle. And that's our answer.